Good evening, everybody. Say hello, Teddy. Hello. Hello. Right. Story number 48. 48. And what are we reading today? Dad can't say this one. This girl on two squabbled. I can't say it. Too many squiggly squiggly squiggles. <laughs> right. Ow. <laughs> I banged my toe. In a tavern forest where some happy, the cool a bit fresh under moss grew green. And as autumn as in under sky rays dress while up in hey, you missed me. The sleep Pierce squeezes got ready for bed while up in a tree swung a flighty 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 young squirrel who everyone knew was spontly spontaneous. Spontaneous. Spontaneous civil. Civil. That's it. Civil the squirrel. <laughs> Go on. How most... How most... Now. Most. Now most foresty folk... Folk. Folk. Had seen to the need through the place for months of mushrooms and seeds stayed. Built up this stores so they'd all be well fed through through the frosting of frosting of winter that glittered ahead. That glittered ahead. For still he lives in the now and here he's adventured and parted his way through the near. So his cupboard was empty. His hollow was bare. He hadn't. He hadn't a mouthful of food anywhere. But wait, that was that over there. What is? What was that over there? Take a look. A single lone pine cone was in a nook. He squealed. And for very good reason, but inside with the very last dot of the season. But Cyril wasn't alone. There was more hungry eyes. Just plan ahead. Plan ahead, Bruce. Plan ahead, Bruce. Bruce. Add his sights on the prize. This one's Bruce down here with the little notepad. Right, go on. Though he'd gathered a mountain of bounty hard fought. Bruce was convinced. 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 He was one pine cone short. I simply must have it. He wistfully cried as he dreamed, dreamt of the fresh juicy pine nuts inside. So as Cyril set off on his way to the ground, Bruce he was also last pine cone bound. They sprinted and scurried with no time to gamble. They scratched and they They scratched at the bark. In their scampering scramble, but they panic and haste suck the tips of the spruce and the pine cone. It trembled and there it came loose. Both girls gave gaze at a lightning piece. This was the start of a wild rocky race. It's mine, shouted Cyril. No, mine, shouted Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Give up, it's no use. I'm hungry, cried Cyril. This cone is not yours, said Black shouted Bruce Springsteen. This cone's for my store, Dad. Mm-hmm.
No, we're doing, not doing this one. Go on, keep going. We've got something to tell you at the end. It boinged. It boinged over bushes. It boinged over bushes and flew through the air. It binged off the nose of a slumbering bear. Bear. It bounced over boulders, then came to a stop. Mm. Then teetered and wobbled. Teetered and wobbled then and teetered. quivered and. And. Plop! Both squirrels followed, and the water was fast. Or they learned that they needed each other at last, but each was in an intent. intent on how he could win, so they didn't quite notice a bear sweeping in. Sure and Bruce Steen, <laughs> they was in dismay as they came disappeared up, up, up and away. Come back, shouted several. They are not, exclaimed Bruce Springsteen. But all hope was gone. It was simply no use. And meanwhile, they drift right up to the ledge. Greed, it was driving them over the edge. So, and Bruce Springsteen, they had to get <laughs> They were paying. paying the price for wanting wanting it all. Wanting it all, they squandered 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 the cancer to team up and say, "Well, they not young hopes simply end as despair." Bruce and bring bedraggled bedraggled. They sweep past dry land. So glad at a branch with a trembling hand, catching the Bruce thing with the other, he leaped. He heaved and he huffed. Huffed. And dragged. Him to safety. With panting and puffs, they started at the sky. No, they stared at the sky. They stared at the sky, quite lost in deep thought, until Bruce looked at Shell and let out a snort. <laughs> How silly we are, he proclaimed. Proclaimed. That's proclaimed. Right. All a giggle. How greedy I've been. Splattered Bruce Bruce scene with a giggle. We saw change from today. Made the Squabbling. Yeah. Case. Cease. Cease. We should celebrate seeing we're both in one price. Peace. From that day and forward, they made a great pair. They would gather together and found they could say, Yes, all average bring seen. <laughs> they knew in the end. Um, the best thing to say is a laugh with your friend. The lion inside the koala who could. So what's that? The end. The end. Right. There were some very difficult words in there, wasn't there? Lots of very unfamiliar words. But you did very well. So tomorrow we're going to do another story like we normally do. But on Wednesday... That will be our 50th story. So we're thinking we might do that one live on Wednesday and we might read one that he's already read before, one of his favourites. Or <laughs> perhaps one of the ones that he read right at the beginning. But we'll see. Okie dokie. Night-night, everybody. Night-night. Night-night.